So we've been out here, uh, just started jumping back into the project. We're gonna start uh, off where we left last time. Uh, really quick, um, this is what we've scanned. We're in our short timeline, so we started off in color over here, but we're gonna switch into gray because of uh, how much time we have left. We literally have four minutes to uh, finish this project. Um, so as you can see, the scanner is just up on top of this. Um, what I'm gonna do is I turn photos off, so I'm gonna go to target, play, and we're gonna get this thing going. It's gonna be 26 seconds per scan. Um, I usually pop back into this uh, view here, uh, kind of check out my scan data. You can see kind of where it's at and what it looks like. It's pretty solid uh, as is, but you can see if you're missing anything, turn your point cloud thickness up or down, or so on and so forth, up or down. Um, I like it right about there. Um, so map, we're here at three quarters of the way, almost done. And scanner spun around. So the scanner stopped moving, three, two, one. And the transfer's going to the iPad. And it pops into the screen. It actually popped up over here. That's clearly not where we're at, so we're gonna have to fix that. Um, we are sitting over this direction like so. Now what I wanna do is I wanna link these two together. So select scan, secondary scan, start. Now we can see where our alignment is. So I'm gonna give it a little rotation, and then I'm gonna move it up to kind of match. I'm gonna look out at the edge, make sure this other side's relatively close. Then I'm gonna click to this side and go to elevation view. And our elevation is going to be a bit different, which we know. Um, so I cannot actually tell in the app where that elevation is for sure. Ooh, 17, so that's the latest. So we're going to go right up here on that upper side. It's kind of hard to see, actually, with the background being black. I'll we'll go ahead and just link that up there. What I'm going to do is go back into the uh, top down view and double check my alignment because I had moved it like so. And then uh, I'm gonna click right there, 3D, and let's see what that looks like. That for the face of the building looks good. This looks like we're too high. darkness turn up the brightness on your iPad that will help and now elevation view I'm gonna drop this down like so gives us a little better visibility for it and then I'm gonna view the top one more time just to make sure that's relatively close zoom out I'm gonna say optimize. Looks like it grabbed it. I'm gonna say create link, 3D view, and make sure that that looks good before I move on. And you can do this back at the office, but I always like to make sure that where I'm at kind of matches. So now we're up on top and this building is actually looking good. You can see how the clean lines on the edges are. Um, that took us a minute because of where we were. Um, we literally jumped from way up here from down here so we jumped right up on top, but we had to walk around and through the building and upstairs. Um, so yeah, we're gonna continue on our way now. So um, here we are, our four minutes is basically up. So we wanna be really careful of our time. Go ahead and grab that. Walk it right over here. Level that up just really quick. Um, I've got vision of what I want to see, so I'm just going to jump right over here to map, target, start, and go ahead and kick in. 26 seconds.
So for this right here, we're, we're looking for these edge of tube steel here. Uh, and we've got windows and reflectivity, all that kind of stuff around us. So um, we just want to also be aware of kind of what we're shooting. You're seeing that high reflectivity out there. Um, but the results we're getting from this are very clean. You can look at the edges. Um, they're really clean on this. So um, really liking that portion of it. Let's see if the viz takes us into this secondary spot right in here. Look at that. There we go. I uh, dropped this right in. So what I'm going to do is link, select that one, select that one. Um, you can see the alignment looks really good, uh, the edges. We don't have overlapping data, so I'm just going to say start alignment and create link. I'm just going to hold that link because uh, I know we don't have that overlapping data. back to my target and I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna get a quick 360 scan here. It actually should be able to capture along that face of steel just like what we were trying to do uh, the whole way. So um, by the key locations of what we chose to set up with our scanner, we're gonna have these minimal scanner blocks, uh, the, the columns themselves, uh, but very minimal. So we would have gotten that side from there. We just won't have the full roundness of that column. But overall, I think we um, should be able to get the whole interior scan and just two scan locations. So as this finishes up, it's gonna pop in and it's just gonna jump right over here onto the side. There it goes, there it is. Now this I've got overlapping data so I can go link, click, click, start alignment. It's already there so I can say optimize and then now it's real tight. You can see the edges look good all the way around. Elevation view if you want to see it really looking good. So I'm going to say create link. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back where those doors are and I'm going to open them up. right there at the doorway just so we have really good overlap and then we'll be done with this and I'm just gonna hold that door open hold this door open it's gonna go target and play it's gonna have really nice uh, entrance way to be honest with you, a lot of the times I would have done this initially, but I felt like with our timeline, I wanted to make sure we got good data overlap before we uh, chose to do these in-between scans to link it the rest of the way together. So this will just help us tie in nicely. And we will have completed this whole project here, uh, starting on the outside corner of the building, down the street, up this whole entire street, uh, up over the top, and in here and up to this interior side uh, in less than a half hour. Based on our timeline, it was uh, critical that we increase that speed. So here we go. I'm going to show you a quick uh, quick view of it. Should put it right in the middle right here, linking these two together. And if it doesn't, that's where it's going to go. Okay, well, it saw itself. So now we can just grab this and go click, click, start alignment. We know we have overlap on the inside. So this time, because I'm outside, it may twist the orientation. So we may want to optimize to the outside one versus the inside one because we have more data on the outside. But we're just going to say optimize so you can see what happens. Oh, it actually worked. Surprise. A lot of the times this will actually rotate because it won't know where it's at because we've the majority of your this linkage is inside and there's only that small doorway that's got overlap right here. That's the only thing that's there. So a lot of times you get inaccurate results. So um, for this, I'm actually gonna hit X cause I know what usually happens on the software side. And I'm gonna go back to link and click these two, start alignment. And now I get good overlap all, all around. So I can then go optimize 
and it stays really tight with the amount of data I have. And now I can say create link. So now I'll have that linking scan in there and these won't link together because, um, because we had uh, previously shot them. But what I could do is click this link and delete it and then go link and select those two and say start alignment. And then we can see the outside and inside and we got good, good lines here and we can say optimize and now it's got a good link and I can hit create link. Now, uh, I just tricked the software and got it straight through. I can go into 3D and now look at this. Um, and yeah, right here, all linked in nicely. Jump inside and inside. We wanted to capture this line that's there. As you can see, it looks like we got the whole thing. That's exactly what we were looking for in here, was to get that whole steel inside and out, boom, all the way down. So I think we're done here. She hit home, leave job, yes. And you can see, that's how she's done.